I'm about to come in real clutch for y'all. So this woman says, my biggest problem is not being capable to fix or help others in that I have years of trying to provide for my kids. All right, so let's let's stop real quick. Number one, you can't fix anybody, okay? I can't fix anybody. You can't fix anybody. That's not our job. Our job is not to fix people. Our job is to make sure that we exemplify what it is to live a life of true value, purpose, morals, taking our mistakes from the past and the things that we have gone through, learning from them and being able to pass that wisdom on to other people. You know, um, prayerfully, they don't make the same mistake, but that they learn from the mistakes that we have made in our life. You can't fix anybody that don't want to be fixed at the end of the day. Okay, so don't stress yourself out trying to fix other people. Now, can you help them? absolutely you can help them right you can help them by continuing to live out in your true value and your true purpose knowing who you are in the end okay now this other thing here you, you you're saying that you're not capable and you put not in you know all caps let me let, let's be let's be clear all right let's be clear number one stop saying that you're not capable of helping others okay i know one person that you are capable of helping and that's yourself Number one, you can help who you are. You can help how you live today. You can help, you know, the, the people that are around you. You can help, uh, you know, uh, your, your situation. If you just get 1% better, if you just get 1% better for the next 100 days, I guarantee you, you'll be 100% better than what you were three and a half months ago. But the fact is that you got to take some radical discipline in your life. You got to take massive action and radical discipline to get to that next level. You can't worry about always trying to play savior and, and be, be Superman or Superwoman to people. You can't do that. Okay? You got to be who you are. You got to live in your capabilities and what you are able to do. Use your gift to make the shift. Whatever your gift is, use that thing to go to the next level. And then people will sit there and see like, hey, how did you do that? And then you can show them. Now it's up to them to actually go out and do the work at the end of the day. All right? You got to go into this next year, this next this next phase, this next day, this next week, you know, and with, a, with an un unshakable mindset. You got to be unshakable. Stop sitting there telling yourself that you can't, that you won't, that you shouldn't, or that you're not capable of doing these things. Because if you continue to tell yourself that you're not capable of doing these things, then guess what? You are telling yourself the truth because you're not going to sit there and do that. And your brain is computing that and saying, no, we can't do this. When in reality, you really can if you start to speak power over your life. It's power in the tongue. You got to understand that. When we change the mind, we change the game. Go get what's yours and start changing your language here. Let's go.